All right, thank you, Jeff, Sarah, and Paul, in absentia, and Yuri for inviting me to talk about All That Philly Jazz. It's a digital history project at the intersection of technology, public art, and civic engagement. All That Philly Jazz stems from a music-related hackathon at Drexel University, Music Hack Day. For most folks, Philly's jazz heritage begins and ends with John Coltrane. But the map tells the rest of the story. Jazz was everywhere. Folks did not have to leave their neighborhood to hear jazz. All That Philly Jazz is mapping Philly's jazz heritage from A to Z, from the Aqua Lounge to Zanzibar Blue, from Dizzy Gillespie at the Downbeat 11th and Ludlow. Um, the Downbeat was the first racially integrated jazz club in Center City. So from the Downbeat to the Roots Mural on South Street, the mural is in the footprint of Peps, which was located at Broad and um, South. Peps was one of those legendary clubs. Um, one block from Peps was the Douglas Hotel. The historical marker out front notes that when Billie Holiday was in town, she lived there. What is unsaid is that in the basement of the Douglas Hotel was, was a nightclub. That space must have been a magical space because in the 50s, it was called Club Rendezvous. Cindy, Cindy Bechet recorded live there. In the 60s, it was the showboat. John Coltrane recorded live there. In the 70s, it became the Bijou Cafe. Grover Washington Jr. recorded live there. All in that same space, and the building is still there. Sadly, there are very few physical structures. You have the Pyramid Club on Girard, um, the Royal Theater, the Uptown Theater in West Philly, Club 421, CC's Nightclub, Octa Lounge, and Billy's um, Boomer Lounge. Of course, on South Street, some of you have probably been to Bob and Barbara's, the crowd pleasers. Um, the, um, the nightclubs on Columbia Avenue, now Cecil B. Moore, fell victim to the race riot of um, August 1964. The web was one of those places, you can see it there in 64, in the aftermath of the riot. Um, there were so many jazz spots on Columbia Avenue, again, now Cecil B. Moore, it was called the Golden Strip. Because Philly's jazz heritage is largely undocumented, today, in partnership with Every Block, I'm so sorry Paul is not here, we are launching All That Philly Jazz. It's a platform, a virtual jazz scene, where folks can discover jazz spots, um, jazz landmarks. And just as they would have back in the day sitting at the local spot, they'll be able to get um, information about what's going on in their neighborhood and, um, and around the city. And of course, there's a, a calendar of, of current jazz activities. Um, Philadelphia's jazz has heritage largely, res well, resides really in the memories of those who were there. So folks can, we're asking visitors to share their story. They can share their story online, on their mobile device. We will also host um, community, community <laughs> forums, um, uh, community forums where folks, again, share their stories, their photos, which we will scan. And they can also, their drawings. This was, these drawings were done by Larry Robin, you may know him, the layout of the bar at Peps and, um, and Showboat. Um, this tribute to John Coltrane mural was destroyed last year. It was at 33rd and, um, and Diamond. I'm a lifelong activist. So my call to action, in um, 1987, City Council passed a resolution designating jazz a city treasure. So call your council person, call Mayor Nutter, call the wannabe mayors and council persons and ask what are they doing to preserve Philadelphia's jazz heritage. As the world, this year marks the 50th anniversary of Coltrane's um, jazz masterpiece, uh, Love Supreme. So as the world is celebrating John Coltrane, we in the city that nature nurtured and shaped him, we are erasing his, his um, legacy. Looking ahead, 
we will develop a mobile app. Oh, Chris, I forgot to mention, Code for Philly, all that Philly jazz is a Code for Philly project. Um, because it's the hackathon, it never ends. Anyhow, looking <laughs> ahead, um, we are developing a mobile app, All That Philly Jazz Walk, a self-guided walking tour that will begin at 11th and Market, you know that CVS there? Well, the Earl Theater used to be there. The Earl Theater was a stop on the Chitlin Circuit, so Google Chitlin Circuit, you don't know what it was. So it was, um, the walking tour will begin at 11th and Market, and in at Broad and Carpenter Streets, the former location of Union Local 274, um, the Black Musicians Union, whose members included Dizzy Gillespie, Coltrane, Nina Simone, um, Billy Holiday, Jimmy Smith. And finally, we were told to give a six word summary. Well, my six words are Black Culture Matters and Cultural Heritage Preservation. So the um, URL, if you can't see it, is phillyjazz.us. You can read it as Philly Jazz is Us or, <laughs> or Philly Jazz US and American Classical Music. So thank you. Oh.